Welcome back fans of all things Disney and welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. Yesterday was day 11 and I simply, uh, I was just not able to put a video together yesterday. So I did miss day 11 of Vlogmas, but I am going to make up for that with the advent calendars on day 12 of Vlogmas. And again, I apologize so much. Hopefully you can all understand. Uh, but when you get home from work and you have one of those just crazy, crazy headaches, the last thing that I wanted to do was to film a video for Vlogmas. I hope you all can understand. But we will go ahead and we'll do our advent calendars for both 11 and 12. And then I do have one of my pin collection books to share with you. I do have three separate uh, sections of my pin collection. So I'll do one today, I'll do one tomorrow, and I will do one the day after that. So first things first, let's go ahead and jump into our advent calendars. And the very first one I like to start with, if you know and you follow the channel, is the limited edition one that I picked up at Disney. And since we have two drawers, I'm just gonna go right ahead and get into it. Now, before I get too much further, um, you are going to notice I have a little bit of a bandage on my finger. So I apologize if that is distracting to anybody, but I did have a little bit of a mishap today with scissors, not safety scissors, but with scissors. And what I learned is when you are cutting wrapping paper for the gifts that you're wrapping for your students, um, you really have to watch what you're doing and not um, take a chunk out of the side of your finger. So that was um, interesting. It, it was a very interesting day all in all, but I will tell you having high school students pays off in that regard because um, I had a handful of students that were just very, very helpful and the nurse was fantastic and it, it was lovely. So this will be a little annoying, but my apologies there. So very first pin, and this is coming out of the box 11. I will show you that there. Let's see, and this is, oh good. So we're getting close to finishing our Winnie the Pooh calendar here, or not calendar, our Winnie the Pooh window. I'm trying to figure out, yeah, I think this, this makes sense here. So we'll go ahead and we'll tuck that one in. I don't know. I'm gonna have to rework some of these, I think, but that's what that's looking like so far. You can see all the characters there. And then since I have this one out, I might as well go ahead and pull for drawer number 12, because again, I do have to double up today since I was negligent yesterday. So we'll pull out drawer number 12. And let's see what we come up with. I would imagine the way this is gone that this is also going to be a Winnie the Pooh one. So let's see here. All right, let's see. Keeping my finger away from scissors. <laughs> okay, so there is the last one I'm thinking for the Winnie the Pooh. And yes, so that is Little Piglet. Having a little snowball fight there, a little snowball fight action. So I will take a look and see. I definitely don't have these in the right order. Um, I'm going to have to take a look, find a picture somewhere, because of course I didn't keep my picture. Um, but just to kind of see what should be going where. I know I ha like Piglet, I think should be down towards the bottom. I don't know. But there you go. You can see that. And I'll get that fixed up as soon as I'm able to figure out the correct order, but that is just an adorable little holiday window scene with the uh, Winnie the Pooh characters. It's kind of perfect because my Christmas village, of course, has Winnie the Pooh um, pieces in it. So it's just so cute to have a variety of different characters and different scenes whenever you're doing anything. So that is very nice. I'm very, very pleased with those two pens. All right, so now I am to the calendar that I made. And remember, this is just a, an advent calendar that I put together. Some of the pins um, have been sent to me by some of the subscribers. And like today, for day 11, is actually coming to me from Carrie, who lives in Hawaii. And she sent me a pin for the, I'm not sure if it is for the advent calendar, because I went... I remembered she was sending me something, but I'm gonna use it for my advent calendar because if it's what I think that it is, um, I'm 
just gonna love it. And then uh, some of the other pins that are in there are just little mystery packs that I was able to kind of tuck in there. Some of them are blind bags. The one I'm gonna grab today is not from uh, individually wrapped blind bag, but they are, it was a five pin set. So let's go ahead and we're gonna open the pin from Carrie because I think I know what it is. I think I've, I know what it is and I'm really hopeful. I'm gonna show you first if it's what I think it is. This is completing one of my sets. This is completing a set, I believe. So I will show you, <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is the Rapunzel hot air balloon pin. And if you follow my channel, you know that I have been trying to track this Rapunzel pin for probably two years at this point, because this one is the last one in the collection that I needed to get, the very last one, and now I have it. Thank you so much, Carrie. This is amazing. I can't wait to add it into my pin binder. Um, I'm done with the hot air balloon collection. I kind of wish that they would come out with like a second series in that uh, because I just love them so much, but thank you so much. She is stunning, and I have finished that collection, so that is just awesome. Awesome. I'm so grateful. Thank you. And again, you just email me anything that you want, Carrie. If, there, if you want me to pick anything up for you when I'm at the parks or anything, you just let me know and I will take care of that. All right. So then the next pin that I have, this one is for day 12 of Vlogmas because again, I'm doing a day 11 and a day 12 video today. This was one of the ones that came out of, it was a mystery bag, but they aren't individually wrapped. And this is that purse series. This is of course the Ursula bag. And I just, I think that one is really just, I love the details on this where you've got the tentacle, you've got the little seashell. It's just a really interesting pin. And I, I wasn't that interested in collecting the handbag pins to be quite honest, but I don't know, they're growing on me. I kind of like all the little details that go along with them. So I think I'm going to end up uh, holding on to those pins and try to collect all of that collection as well. So, so far I've gotten four pretty awesome pins today. Um, and I shouldn't say so far, that is it for the day. Um, but I cannot wait to get those tucked away into the pin binder. However, let's go ahead and I will share with you binder number one of my pin collection. Hopefully you enjoy this as much as I have enjoyed finding these pins, trading for these pins, um, purchasing some of them, obviously. But if you uh, have ever thought about pin trading, it is such a fun thing to do in the parks. Uh, a couple of years ago, I want to say at this point, um, I had purchased some pin sets to just do some trading. And I didn't have a lot of money to purchase anything in the parks, but I was trading pins. So I kind of felt like I was getting new souvenirs, um, trading pins that I didn't want for pins that I did want. And it was just it was such a fun experience that I've kind of been hooked ever since then. So I would encourage you if you've never tried pin trading to go ahead and do it. But this is also not just pin trading, but it's my pin collection. And this will be the very first binder that I go through tomorrow. You'll get binder two. And then the day after that, you will get, um, I don't have a binder. I have them on separate sheets. But let's go ahead and we'll jump right in. Okay, so the first page of my pin binder, I try to keep any of my dated pins, any of the pins that have the years that we did a visit. Um, I just try to tuck them onto this. 2008 was our very, very first trip to Disney as a family. I went once when I was, I think, in sixth grade, and I went another time just for a day trip on my honeymoon, which I wasn't into pin collecting at the time. But since then, I've tried to grab some of the dated pins, especially for the years that we had big family vacations at Disney. And then, of course, now, um, because I'm there all the time, now I'm just kind of finding ones that I love. So you can see here the 2017, because I love everything about Stitch and Mickey, I ended up keeping those from a starter set. This one was when we went out to Disneyland a few years ago so that I could do that... Um, it was a Disneyland half marathon with a couple of friends and it was their diamond celebration. 
and it allowed me to get my Coast to Coast medal, so I've got that pin to help me remember. That one I just really liked with Sorcerer Mickey in 2017. This one was the celebration of the 45 years of Magic Kingdom, so I figured that was appropriate for this page. Of course, Stitch, 2017. 2008 was, of course, the very first family trip that we took, so that pin was purchased to commemorate that. And then 2011 was the uh, subsequent family trip, 2011, a few years later. And then there's a 2017 Minnie Mouse, which I absolutely love. There's some 2018 um, pins from the starter set that I just thought were too cute. I had to have them. This is one that I traded for, and because we did go at one point in 2012, I did tuck that in there. Here's a 2019 pin that I thought was just really, really cute. Mouse party was to help celebrate Mickey's birthday. And then there's the Walt and Mickey statue, which I love. Another 2017 that I found. And then this one I actually just got. It's for 2019 and it's Baymax. So it was a must have for me. So we'll go on to the next page. These are all of my resort pins. And I used to get a pin every time that I stayed at a resort, but there's no way to do that at this point because I have simply stayed so many times, a night here, a night there. So now it's just the ones that I have stayed at. And I'm sure I'm missing some, but that's Port Orleans Riverside. We did um, a quick stay there a couple years ago um, as a family for a Christmas celebration. Then the Grand Floridian, we did that for a birthday celebration, and that was amazing. Wilderness Lodge, I've only gotten to stay there one time. It was a quick overnight, but it was fantastic. Animal Kingdom is simply amazing. I've stayed there a couple of times now. This one, I think, is just the generic um, Vacation Club pin, and because we are Vacation Club members, I went ahead and I got that one. Saratoga Springs is our home resort, so... That one is kind of fitting. And then the Polynesian is my absolute favorite resort. Then here is, wait a second, is this Boardwalk? I think that's Boardwalk, which is my husband's favorite resort. So we, of course, have to stay there. Hello, Miss Maja. Then there's another Disneyland 60 to help um, me. There's a couple of them, actually, and that is for our Disneyland hotel stay. Um, so I did go ahead and tuck both of those there. Caribbean Beach was the hotel we stayed at in 2008 for our first family trip. And I just thought that it was too cute with Mickey as a pirate. So we have that regular Vacation Club member pin. Coronado Springs, I stayed at on a conference, which was really fun. And then there's the Wilderness Lodge again. I just thought it was adorable with the different characters and that 3D element. And then let's see here. What do we have? We have the Grand Floridian again. And then the All-Star Resorts. I stayed at all of the All-Star Resorts. And I have to tell you, I actually really like the All-Stars. I think they are affordable. And I think the amenities are just fine, especially if you're going to be in the parks all day. Now, these are interesting, this one especially, because this is Vero Beach. We actually just stayed there this past summer, and it was amazing. thing I love the most about this is they have the turtle, and the turtle, the sea turtles, that is kind of like their mascot that they have there. And I just love that they included that with the sand castle. This one, I believe, is Grand Californian, which I have never stayed at that, and I cannot wait to stay at that one. But I have that pin because it came as part of a set. And then here is Bay Lake Tower, 2009. It, we didn't stay there in 2009, but it was a cute Bay Lake pin, and we did stay there eventually, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And then I tucked my Skyliner pass holder pin on this page. I'm thinking I should move it towards the other page, but... Uh, for right now, that's kind of where it is to help me to remember when the Skyliner did, in fact, open. Then this page, these are my Run Disney pins. I have all of my medals, but these are just some of the pins that I picked up. The Princess 10K, um, the 5K from a few years ago. In 2018, I actually did all three of the races, the 5K, 10K, and the half marathon, 
And one of the things that is most special to me about the entire series is I had actually had an emergency surgery about a month and a half before I did all of this running. Um, my gallbladder needed to come out and they wouldn't let me leave once I got into the hospital because they were concerned about it. So that was an emergency surgery and then I still had to finish my training and get myself through it, which I did. This is my replica Coast to Coast medal and that was when I had run um, my very first half marathon in Florida. And then that same year I went out to California with some friends and we did a half marathon, the Dumbo Double Dare. So we were able to get the Coast to Coast medal that went with it because we ran a half marathon on both coasts. Then these are just some pins um, that I have picked up. This was the 10K from that Dumbo Double Dare. And then let's see here. This is the half marathon pin from out in Disneyland. And then there is the Dumbo Double Dare pin for doing those two. And I just love that artwork. I hope that California brings their races back. But if they don't, I at least have those. Then they started with their virtual 5Ks. So I went ahead and I had to participate from year number one, but this is the one from 2017 with Pluto. This one, let's see here. I did not participate in this race. However, it's a cute pin, so I went ahead and I tucked it in my pin book. I think I traded for that one. The half marathon I ran last year during uh, the marathon weekend. Then this was last year's half marathon pin and the 10K, and I also ran the, uh, so that meant I did the fairy tale Challenge. I did both of those races. And then this one was the one for doing the, I believe it was for the virtual half marathon for Star Wars weekend. And I did um, all of the races except for the 5K for that one. So I really love those pins. I think I love my medals more, but on this page, I just have pins that mean something to me. So for example, the stitch pin, was sent to me by one of my amazing subscribers and customers. And I love, love, love this pin. It came all the way from California and I love it. This rose in the bell jar pin that was given to me by um, a very, very close family friend when we were on a trip together. This I'll be your Mickey, I'll be your Minnie. We, my husband and I purchased those on a date night to Disney. So I love those. These pins here, these statue replicas, I purchased those when we became pass holders because those are pass holder pens. This Star Wars or Jedi Mickey pin, I purchased that on our very first trip to Disney because my son and I are both Star Wars nuts, so I had to have that one. And then these, although we've never been to Shanghai Disney, they had these at the outlets and I just thought that they were gorgeous. So I think I have the strong majority of this collection. Not all of them, but I think I have the, the majority. So I did go ahead and I tucked those in here because I just think they are gorgeous. All right, so down to just a few pages. These pins up here at the top, these are cast member pins and you can tell that by like that little hidden Mickey that's right there, that little silver hidden Mickey. And these were out a few years ago, these cast member pins. And they are basically the ear icon, but um, with the costumes for the different rides. So I just thought that was very cute. And then here we have the Mickey head icons, but of the characters. So um, I just, anything that deals with a dressed up icon or ear hat or something like that, I love. So I have those all tucked in there. And then this is another mystery set. These are the ear hats with um, the different characters represented. And I'm very close to completing both of those sets. So very soon, hopefully I'll be able to say that I have those completed. All right, then on this page, I kind of, um, I have some of my Disney foods. So here I have that cupcake set. Um, I love Disney cupcakes. I don't buy them a lot, but I love to look at them. I think they're just little cute pieces of artwork. Some very, very simple ice cream bars that look like some of the characters. The donut series, I don't have a lot of those, but um, I do need to start collecting those a little bit more because I think they're adorable. And then these pins I just purchased this year and these came from Disneyland Paris. And oh my gosh, just look at the detailing on these. So they're a stitch and we've got Minnie Mouse 
And of course, Tinkerbell and Angel. And the cupcakes are just gorgeous. Then let's see here. I think this is the last page and I'm so glad that this is the last page because I will be able to tuck my Rapunzel pin right in so that my collection will be finished. This is a series that they had out not too long ago um, and I really, really liked it, but I stopped collecting it because there were a handful of pins that I liked and I wasn't getting any of those, but you can see they're kind of the iconic rides and locations. And then here is the hot air balloon set. I'm gonna go ahead and add my Rapunzel pin in there in just a second. And then one of my amazing subscribers and customers sent us this Doug pin here uh, very recently. So I added that in, even though it's uh, from, I think, Tokyo Disneyland. Um, and these are just kind of a open series. It seemed fitting to put it there. And then I also like kind of the lock set with the different characters. I might eventually trade those out, but I don't know. I think they're kind of cute. All right, so there are those hot air balloon pins with Rapunzel in her rightful place. Look at that. And Carrie, that is all thanks to you. Thank you so much for helping me to collect and finish that collection. So hopefully you enjoyed my little walk through the first book of my pin collection. I know I certainly enjoy going through it anytime I get the opportunity to do that. Hello, Miss Maja. But now we are to the end of the content and I have a couple of Christmas cards that I did want to share with all of you. Um, this very first one is coming to me from Miss Ivy. And let me see if I... Yep, I thought that was correct. So Ivy in New York. Oh, Maja's knocking into the camera. I apologize. And this is the card. It's actually a wooden card. I'm not going to turn it around because it's got addresses and things like that on it. But I'll show you how beautiful that is. And it says Season's Greetings. It's got Santa Claus sipping his hot chocolate kind of sitting up there on the chimney. It is gorgeous. I love it. And these these wooden, um, more heavy-duty cards, they seem to be very popular, um, and I had not really seen them before. So this is to Melissa and family, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Much love from Ivy, and again, this is Ivy in New York. So thank you so much, Ivy. Thank you for thinking of me and my family, and I will absolutely add that to somewhere in here um, because it won't fit on the garland, but I love this. Thank you so much. And then, let's see here, I have a Christmas card from, this is from Alicia in Alabama. It looks like Alicia in Alabama, and I apologize if I mispronounced the name. I don't have my glasses on, and I need to remember, just grab your glasses. I've gotten to be quite blind <laughs> as far as reading goes in uh, my older age, my more veteran age, I should say. Um, so trying to read any kind of print is proving to be difficult. My students love to poke fun at me all the time. And I am so sorry this is taking me forever to get into this. Um, but the having the one finger situation, that isn't great. All right, so this is Alicia again in... Alabama. Oh, I love this card. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is so cute. So, so cute. So we've got Mickey, Pluto, Donald, and Goofy. And when I open this up, it says, I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love from a fellow Disney subscriber, uh, Alicia. And I, I won't read the rest, but so this is from Alicia. And again, in I believe that is Alabama. So thank you so much. And I love this card. That is gorgeous. So between my amazingly beautiful, nice wooden card from my friend Ivy, and then from Alicia with this amazing Disney card, I just, I'm feeling quite spoiled with the Christmas cards this year, I have to say. So thank you for that. If you kind of like the content of the channel and you would like to hit subscribe, please go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to make sure that I am on it for the rest of Vlogmas. I appreciate that you 
uh, understand that I had to miss at least that one day. Um, but hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the Vlogmas content. We are trying to get our subscribership up. And as a special thank you to all of our subscribers, we do a giveaway here on the channel every single month. Uh, I don't have the name of last month's winner. I will do that for tomorrow. Um, but enter by subscribing. You get three entries just by being a subscriber, a new subscriber within the month. And then you are in the drawing no matter what you do from there on out. So if you are an existing subscriber, you are entered into the giveaway as our thanks to you. And then you get additional entries just by commenting on any of the videos that we upload over the course of the month. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button so we can get you entered into our giveaway for a box of mystery goodies. Come back tomorrow and I'll show you the remainder of, not the remainder, but part two, I should say, of my pin collection. And until our next video, bye-bye.